Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, the King, King who, who is, is to, to come. come. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. A mighty God, God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. For forty years I was weary of these people, and I said their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is in our, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning, your truth in the watches of the night. Him, him. let's sing the oh, hymn. Sorry, my God. Sorry, Father. Sorry. Him is number 87. Creator of the stars of night, the people's everlasting light, Redeemer, Saviour of us all, O oh, hear, hear your servants when they call, as, as once through Mary's flesh you came, to save us from our sin and shame. So, and so now, now Redeemer, by, by your grace, come heal again our fallen race. And when, when on that last judgment day we rise to glory from decay, then, then come, come again, O oh Saviour blessed, and bring, bring us to eternal rest. To God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one. Praise and honor, honor might, might and glory be, be from, from age, age to age eternally. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning. And your truth in the watches of the night. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night, on the ten-string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the heart. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive. They are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they're old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night.
proclaim the greatness of, of our, our God. God. Listen, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words on my lips. May my teaching fall like the rain, my speech descend like the dew, like the raindrops on the young green, like showers falling on the grass. For I shall praise the name of the Lord, O give glory to this God of ours. The rock, his deeds are perfect, and all his ways are just, a faithful God without deceit, a man who is right and just. Those whom he begot unblemished have become crooked, false, perverse. Is it thus you repay the Lord, O senseless and foolish people? Is he not your father who created you, he who made you, on whom you depend? Remember the days of old. Consider the years that are past. Ask your father and he will show you, as your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their heritage and disposed men according to his plan, in fixing the boundaries of the nations, he fought first of Israel's sons. For Israel was the Lord's possession, Jacob the one he had chosen. God found him in a wilderness, in fearful, desolate waste. He surrounded him, he lifted him up, he kept him as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle that watches its nest, that hovers over its young. So he spread his wings, he took him, placed him on his outstretched wings. The Lord alone was his guide, and no other God was with him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Proclaim, Proclaim the, the greatness, greatness of, of our God. God. How great is your name, Lord, through, through all, all the, the earth. earth. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to fall your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? mortal man that you care for him. Yet you've made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hand, put all things under his feet. All of them, sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. How, How great, great is, is your, your name, name, Lord, Lord through all the years. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall grow from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall spring from its roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and power, a spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun he will rise over you. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun he will rise over you. His glory will appear in your midst. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun he will rise over you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The glory of the Lord will shine on you, Jerusalem, like the sun he will rise over you. 
the Lord will raise a signal for the nations, nations and, and he will gather, gather together the scattered, scattered children, children of Israel. Israel. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He's visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation, to forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord will raise a signal for the, for the nations, nations and, and he will gather together the scattered children of Israel. The Lord our God is coming. Let us put aside fear and look forward to the future with courage. Your kingdom come. Lord, you make all things and renew them. All creation displays your work. Your kingdom come. You have given us dominion over the earth. May our work have a share of your creative power. Your kingdom come. We pray for those who work for the relief of suffering in others. May they also know comfort and understanding. Your kingdom come. As we rest from work at the end of the week, restore our strength and give us time to know you. Your kingdom come. Who art, Who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, to free mankind from their sinful state, you sent your only Son into this world. Grant to us who in faith and love wait for his coming, your gift of grace and the reward of true freedom. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, lives and reigns with you in the company of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the prayer for vocations to the priesthood of this Rosemary Diocese. Eternal Father, we thank you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give thanks to those who have, priests who have brought us your word of truth, the grace of the sacraments, and above all the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives in love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Intention of the Mass is for Colette Dalton. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the splendor of your glory dawn in our hearts, we pray, Almighty God, that all shadows of the night may be scattered and we may be shown to be children of light by the advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, his word flaring like a torch. It was he who brought famine on them, who decimated them in his zeal. By the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens. He also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were in your miracles, Elijah. Has anyone reason to boast as you have? taken up in the whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses, designated in the prophecies of doom to allay God's wrath before the fury breaks, to turn the hearts of his fathers towards their children and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Happy shall they be who see you and those who have fallen asleep in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. Shine forth from your cherubim throne. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. May your hand be on the man you've chosen, the man you've given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. We stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The day of the Lord is near. Look, he comes to save us. Alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As they came down from the mountain, the disciples put this question to Jesus. Who do the scribes say that Elijah, why do the scribes say that Elijah has to come first? True, he replied, Elijah is to come to see that everything is once more as it should be. 
However, I tell you that Elijah has come already, and they did not recognize him, but treated him as they pleased. And the Son of Man will suffer similarly at their hands. The disciples understood that he had been speaking of John the Baptist, the Gospel of the Lord. The prophet Elijah possessed great spiritual powers. He launched a crusade against the idolatry being practiced by the king and queen of Israel, Ahab and Jezebel. As a result, he became a wanted man. But such was the esteem in which he was held by the people that it was believed he would come back to inaugurate the messianic era. Jesus told the people that Elijah had already come back in the person of John the Baptist. And far from recognizing him, they treated him as they pleased, a reference to his imprisonment and death at the hands of Herod. But could the man who was beheaded in a dungeon by Herod really be another Elijah? The evangelists go out of their way to show that John was the prophesied forerunner. The account of his clothing in Mark is almost an exact echo of the account of Elijah's clothing in Second Kings. Like Elijah, John was an outsider living in the desert. And just as Elijah was supposed to do, he called people to conversion in preparation for the coming of the Messiah. Again, like Elijah, he met with opposition from high places, ending up in prison where he was beheaded for speaking out against Herod. Both Elijah and John were great prophets. The prophet is one who speaks out in the name of God against falsehood, corruption, injustice, and tyranny. The prophet pays a high price for this in terms of dishonor, rejection, persecution, and often death. The modern world is still rejecting the prophets which God, in his goodness, continues to send it. And we ourselves don't always recognize the people God sends us in our lives. Every Christian is called to be a witness for Christ. Not all of us are called to witness with powerful words like Elijah and John, but we can do something which is even better. We can witness with a good life. Let us pray. Lord, keep us deeply rooted and grounded in your love that we may stand content and confident in the shadow of your wings, embraced and protected by your divine love. Lord, hear us. We ask Our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now. Not the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with archangels and angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, our Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to request you eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us.
Dear sisters and brothers, we have come before a mother of perpetual health to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through our intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you I come before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives, that we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life, that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life, that all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol, that those who rule our country may act wisely, justly, and for the good of all, <clears throat> that we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor, that the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. <clears throat> that all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will restored to health. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may have light and guidance in ruling the Church. That all people may live in peace and unity. That our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena. And for our personal intentions. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when, full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us like you to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. May we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who implore her motherly help benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen.
You have given your people bread from heaven, the bread which is full of all goodness. Let us pray, O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. The divine praise is blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be a holy and immaculate conception. <clears throat> Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her spouse, most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him who humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince and Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Host, guardian of souls, vanquish our rebel spirits, servant in the house of the divine king, an admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen.